All right. So, a few days ago, and those of you who read my post, keep up with my post, know, uh, I got into it with this idiot, and I'm not going to mention his name. I never do that. But anyway, he comes to, puts a comment on the, what was it, the, a complete tactical setup on a really tight budget video. And the video is meant for people, you know, of course, on a tight budget, your average Joe, who wants to set something up in case, you know, shit hits the fan. And I've listed all kinds of reasons why you never know. I mean, there could be a natural disaster. Um, there could be a currency crisis, which I believe is the most uh, probably likely scenario. Could be some sort of pandemic. You never know. But if you set up, then you don't have to worry about that. So the idea is a way to set up for cheap, your average Joe who, you know, doesn't really have a lot of money or knowledge on firearms, just, you know, basic, you know, um, intermediate shooter, basically, you're not going to know how to disassemble the entire firearm, put it all back together, I mean, field stripping is one thing, but I mean, from scratch, building firearms, um, it's not meant for that, and that's what this guy was advocating, just basically build your own, so, I mean, I think that is completely stupid, completely stupid, um, for just your average Joe. The idea was just to help you get a simple setup. He was rec he said that he bought an SKS in an estate sale, or no, an auction. And he was saying go to um, auctions, estate sales, get on arms list and Craigslist and stuff like that, which I can see that if you really know what you're doing. But you really have to know what you're doing. And an AR, there's some variations, like the... Uh, Colts, the, some pins are different from m most of the others, so you've got to watch that, but it's not that big of a deal. Pins here and there, they're not that hard to find. You can find uh, the little conversion or fit-in pin or whatever the hell you call it, but you can make that happen. But something like an SKS, for those of you who own one or know anything about them, like if you go looking for parts, let's say a receiver cover, you get just a generic receiver cover with the rail like I did. Well, you have to file that shit down in some cases so there's subtle differences there's firing pins that work only on certain SKS's right there's gas uh, blocks and stuff there's, there's different variations that damn gun was made over several years several decades by many different countries so there's many different variations right I mean even like the, the uh, 1911 for those of y'all that have one you know they can be kind of finicky about magazines. They're all the same damn design, but there's a hundred and what, 121 different manufacturers, or there's been 121 different manufacturers of the 1911. That's why, and there's, there's subtle differences. That's why some magazines for a 1911 work with some guns. You have to kind of test it out, and that's one of the, the bad parts on it. But, um, I mean, I love the gun myself, but that's one of the things. That's, that's the way it is. What it is is what it is. And the SKS as well. So, he's saying that he basically Frankenstein a rifle together. And he's saying that that's what people should be doing. Is that a good idea to recommend your average Joe to do? Hey man, look, go get this, go get this, go get this, buy this off some stranger online, buy that off some stranger online, buy this, go to a, a, an auction or a state sale and hope they have what you need. Yeah, I mean, you may get lucky, but I mean, your average Joe is going to take luck and knowledge. Does he have both? I don't know. But I'm not going to say Frankenstein something like that together unless you really know what you're doing. This was for the average Joe, but he could not comprehend that. And because I didn't understand, I was a fool. And because I thought there was an ammo scare and that you couldn't find firearms, I'm a fool. I don't know what the hell country he was living in. I mean, he seems to be in the U.S. It says he's in the U.S., but I mean, how in the hell can you be a gun owner? How can you be looking for a firearm? back then and going to auctions and putting them together and not realize that the prices are higher than normal. Not realize that shops, gun sites, even pawn shops are selling that shit way too high, well, way, pretty damn high. And uh, like I told him, hey, look, man, that's the way it, it was. You get on Gun Broker, get on Guns USA, get on Arms List, Gun Trader, get anywhere, any online site, go to any gun website, any 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 uh, store that sells firearms, get on their website and the prices were elevated. That's the way it was. And he thinks I'm under some delusion. 
But anyway, I just I, and I'm not the guy. I'm not the better man. If somebody wants to insult insult me, my intelligence, and my entire way of life, hey, you know what? You're free to do that. I'm a libertarian. You can say whatever the hell you want, and you know what? I'm gonna I'll lower down to your level and tell you the way it is too. And eventually, when I get fed up, I'll just block you. You got a right to say whatever you want, but not on this channel. I mean, I can always as soon as somebody comes up with profanities and all that, I try to talk some sense into them. If they keep on, you know what? You're blocked. I don't have to listen to that shit. Right? It's like you don't you can't come into my house and start saying whatever you want. You got freedom of speech, but not in my home. And you know what? This uh channel, it's mine. So people that want to come up and start, you know, just all kinds of profanities and, you know, name calling shit like that, banned, blocked, muted. You know, if you want to have an intelligent discussion, that's fine with me. I prefer that. You know, I learn stuff from other people, right? I have the ability to learn, but some people do not, right? So, you know, just talk some sense. Hey, man, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? I mean, I'm not right in everything, and I know it, but, uh, you know, a little bit of debate, and that's not profanity right away and assuming that everybody is living w with your circumstances. Yeah, you were able to find this, maybe. Maybe you got lucky. Maybe... You know how to how to Frankenstein this rifle together. I mean, I can do it, but I've really looked into it. I've really gone into detail and studied the, the damn SKS, and I've been doing a lot of work on mine. But that's, you know, a different story. Your average Joe? Probably not. I, I really doubt it. But uh, anyway, I just, I don't know. I just had to make a video on that. It just It just blows my mind how people... They'll run into a, a, a scenario and assume everybody has the same circumstances, right? I make a video trying to help your average Joe, and I'm a fool because I think that there was th that I think that there was an ammo scare, an assault weapons ban scare, and prices were higher, and I shouldn't be recommending that. Just tell them to put their rifle together, buying parts here and there online from strangers, and you know I, that that's just luck. That's hoping to God the damn thing works and all the parts actually work, and they fit together. Assuming you know what you're doing. Anyway, that's it. That, that's all I got to say, guys.